45 minutes gone by. 15 minutes remain here at Sun Life Stadium for the top 25 clash, the Sunshine State Showdown between the arch rival Florida State Seminoles and the University of Miami Hurricanes. It's a pleasure to be alongside Scott Braun. I am Justin Antwell. Danny Parr did a great job the first 40 minutes. Start of the fourth quarter right now, 31-17 Florida State leads. By a pair of touchdowns, it's a big third and three coming up right now, Scott, from the Florida State's own 27. Yeah, and uh, we'll see what the Miami Hurricanes are able to string up here against this uh, Florida State Seminoles team because uh, the defense starting to get on a little bit of a roll. I think they're communicating a lot better now, handling the blocks of uh, Florida State. But going back to that last play, they tried another trick play. And uh, Christian Ponder actually made a huge block on Marcus Robinson. Otherwise, that play is stuffed up for no gain. Instead, they're able to pull off seven yards and set up a third and short, which I think is definitely in Florida State's favor here as they want to continue to march and continue to kill some clock. Florida State will be going right to left on your radio dial wearing their white jerseys, Miami in their orange jerseys. They've had a lot of time to think about this big third and three right here. Need to really keep it a two-possession game here in the fourth quarter can't afford to give up any more points and especially times valuable at this point as well hurricanes they got it started in this in this half with a very 26 yard touchdown run Boster chipped in with a 36 yard field goal but Lonnie Pryor responded for Florida State with a 16 yard touchdown of his own that's where we stand right now 31 17 Florida State leads by two touchdowns big third and three right here Ponder in the shotgun high snap but he catches it three-step drop back rolling to his right now looking over the middle and that's off the hands of Burt Reed incomplete a good three and out for the Miami Hurricanes punt unit comes on for FSU that means Shakur Harris are going to strap up his chin strap he'll be going out after this punt and Ponder again displaying excellent footwork setting himself up for a nice look but just not able to come down with it it was a mediocre throw and and, and the attempt at catching the ball was not there, so... Uh, and it looks like Miami's going to stack up here and try and block this punt, potentially. Miami sitting nine men in the box right now, ready to block it. It's a full orange rush. Punt is off, though. And it bounces at the 30-yard line, takes a friendly Seminole bounce. It's going to trickle all the way inside the 20-yard line. So a friendly 10-yard bounce for Florida State. Benjamin doesn't decide to catch the ball, decides to let it roll. Probably not a very good decision from T. Benj right there, the blur from Bell Grades, but nevertheless, the Hurricanes will take out at more, more or less the 20-yard line or so, and they'll have to march 80 yards down the field to try and get this a one-possession game. John Trell Henderson is in on the offensive line. He's had a bit of a rough day. Uh, there's been a has. lot of pressure from the corners, and, and a lot of times you look, and Sean Trell has been the one who is letting up the ends. Benjamin and Hankerson are two J-12s right. Bury the lone setback. Florida State playing a base D. Snap to Harris. Play action fake. Sets it in his hip. Now he's rolling right. Looking down the middle for a receiver. And he's just going to tuck the ball in and get touched up by number 93, Everett Dawkins, the defensive lineman. 14-25 remaining here in the fourth quarter. 31-17. Miami trails by a pair of touchdowns. Great to be with you whether you're listening on WVUM.org nationally or locally on 90.5 FM. Harris spanning around, making sure his players are set. Gets the snap from Horn. Hands it off to Barry. Barry runs straight up the gut and is stuffed. Gain of nothing. That'll set up a third and four from the Miami 25-yard line. Well, Miami's still trying to keep this FSU defense honest, as that's why they continue to go with the run call here, but it uh, doesn't work there. Leonard Hankerson, their leading receiver thus far, five catches for 72 yards. Harris in the shotgun. Got to look for Hank here, and it's going to be a false start. Looks like maybe it's on Big Sean Trail Henderson, the 355-pound freshman. And it is the number two overall prospect in last year's high school recruiting, regardless of position, makes a freshman mistake right there. It's, that's a huge penalty, Scott. Third and four and third and nine, it's a big difference. That's crucial. You're, you're looking at third and four. gives you so many more options as an offensive play caller. Let's see what they go with here. J-12 now forced to go in the shotgun. He's got four wide receivers and Barry right to his right. 
Third and nine from the 20-yard line. Good snap from Horn. J12 stepping up in the pocket. Floats one out. In and out of the hands of Leonard Hankerson. Would have been a first down as he tried to catch that ball at the 30-yard line. Throw may have been a bit high, but for LH85, he's got to haul that in. Yeah, that's a catchable football. If you're the leading receiver on this team, you got to make a big play right there. Instead, Hurricanes go three and out. Foster set the punt. Ivory with the snap. And now there, Ray Ray Armstrong is going to come in late as Miami only had 10 men on the field. So more special teams miscues for Miami. They finally get 11 men on the field. Low snap, picked up by Bosher, just gets it off. A low kick, it's short. No FSU player is going to touch it. Sean Spence downs it at the Seminole 45-yard line. So the Knolls once again set up in good field position. And with these three and outs, Scott, it's basically just trading field position. Miami and FSU is going to win the field position battle all the time. They're starting the ball around the 50 every time. Miami's starting the ball inside the 10 every time. And also FSU on the previous punt got a very favorable bounce. Bosher, meanwhile, getting a very unfavorable bounce. The ball coming back towards Miami's zone. So Florida State in control. And it's setting up a tough situation. Ja'Cory Harris, next time he goes out, is going to have to take some risks and some shots downfield. It's 31-17. Florida State leads by 14 points. 13-13 left here in the fourth quarter. Florida State will have the ball at the 45-yard line. There's immediate timeout. So this time, I want to take the opportunity to remind you that Pirates Brand is an official sponsor for WVM Sports Football Broadcast. Pirates Booty promotes all natural baked and trans fat and gluten products. Pirates Brand products include Pirates Booty, Potato Flyers, Smart Puffs, and Original Tings. For additional information, log on to www.piratesbooty.com. And Pirates Booty also sponsored the WVM tailgate held in, uh, I believe, West 22 earlier today. So that was good for our DJ staff and a promotion staff to promote the station and promote this broadcast as well. As This is a real treat for us, Scott, our senior year. One of the primetime games that, that you and I have had to call. With. We've, we've done a lot of games together, and this has got to be one of the most marquee games we, we've had to do together. Yeah, uh, this is a game that, uh, and there's still some life left for the Miami Hurricanes, so uh, you don't want to say anything before it happens, but... Um, this is definitely one of the bigger games uh, of the season for the Miami Hurricanes. Nice to be able to do, especially because, you know, we do the home games here primarily. And this is one of the bigger ones for Miami. Uh, really, though, disappointed in the fact that they dug themselves in such a hole to start this game that they're now looking like the Miami team that we've seen this year where defense holds up, offense makes some big plays from time to time. But uh, Florida State's still very much in control of this game. There's 13-13 to go, and they still have a two-touchdown lead. Florida State will be going right to left on your radio dial. It'll be first and ten from the 45-yard line. FSU breaks from their huddle and marches in. The road team has won every meeting since 2005, and it's looking to appear that way right now with the road team leading by 14. Ponder loves to work from the shotgun. Miami playing their base D. JoJo Nicholas is in for Ray Ray Armstrong, otherwise all starters are in. It's a direct snap to Ponder, who hands it off inside handoff, but swarmed the line of scrimmage. Were the orange jerseys, led by McConnor Regis, number 54, the Pahokee standout. Bring up a second and ten. Second and eight, excuse me, as the official gain was two yards from the 47-yard line now. 12.50 remaining. Ponder now under center, looking around, making sure his teammates know the play. Calls an audible at the line of scrimmage. Hurricanes look like they're going to show blitz. They do. Spence blitz blitzes up the middle, providing some penetration. McConnor Regis almost wraps up Ponder, but Ponder's going to scramble, and he's going to get the first down. Knocked out of bounds for a 12-yard gain. It was a feast or famine play from Christian Ponder. Appeared to be wrapped up in the backfield by Christian Ponder for a, by, by McConnor Regis for a loss of five yards. He turns that into a gain of 12. First down for FSU. Got to give credit to the right tacker, tackle Henry Orlis as he was able to hold off the Miami end because Christian Ponder gets that room on the right side. And I can't see who the defensive player was. Oh, it's Alan Bailey, who was just completely held up and not able to make a play. We talked a lot about how, how cohesive Florida State is on their offensive line. A run up the middle. Looks like Jermaine Thomas. He gets a very nice gain right there for looks like seven unofficially. But, Scott, we talked about in the open, 80% of the FSU O-line has played with, the, with, with together for three-plus years. Chemistry in the offensive line is so important in, in football. 
to know no assignments know who's pulling know who's shifting so you can read read uh, read counts together it's crucial and FSU has a huge advantage right now but Miami has a relatively young offensive line <laughs> 